Hello, Grade 11s. We're going on to differentiation of trigonometric functions. So, initially over here, what they're doing is they're just showing the derivation of how we find the derivative of cos and tan and so on. I'm not too interested in the derivations. You won't be examined on them. You're more than welcome to go through them and understand them if you want. But what we are going to be doing is we're going to be going through this. So, uh, here are the original functions. Okay, and then these are the derivatives of those functions. So, for example, if you've got sine x, the derivative of sine x is cos x. If you've got cosec x, the derivative of cosec is minus cosec x cot x. Now, this table is given on the formula sheet that you'll be getting, and it's over here. So, you have them all over here. Okay, don't worry about these ones just yet. We'll get to those. And then these are just your differentiation rules. Okay. So I'll be using this sheet over here with examples coming up in a second. Okay, so you can follow in your book. And I'm going to be doing these examples over here. Okay, and this is on page 109. All right, so I've just drawn up the table there. You guys can copy that into your books if you want. All right, so the first example... Uh, well, the question is, it's saying, determine the following derivatives and simplify the answer where possible. So, number one, they've given us y is equal to sine 3x plus cos 2x. Okay, now what we've got here, grade 11s, is we've got the chain rule because we've got a function within a function. So our outside function would be the sine x, okay? And then our inside function would be the 3x. Okay, so we'll differentiate that using the chain rule. Then for over here, we've got cos 2x or cos x, and then the inside function is 2x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to differentiate the orange one, then I'm going to differentiate the green one, then differentiate the orange one, then the green one. So because they've given it to us in the form y, we have to say dy dx. Okay, so the derivative of sine is cos. So we get here cos 3x. That is the derivative of the outside function. Now we need to differentiate the inside function using chain rule and the derivative of 3x is 3. Okay, now we're moving on to this one over here. The derivative of cos is minus sine. So we get minus sine 3x. So we've differentiated the outside function. Now we need to differentiate the inside function, which is 2. And then I can just simplify this. That will give us 3 cos 3x minus 2 sine, sorry, this is supposed to be a 2, sine 2x. All right, going on to the second one. y is equal to tan x squared. So again, grade 11s, we've got an outside function and then we have an inside function. So I'm going to differentiate the outside function. So the derivative of tan is sec squared. So dy dx is equal to sec squared x squared. Now we need to differentiate the inside, the green one, which is going to give us 2x. And then we can simplify that to look neater, and we get 2x times sec squared x squared. Okay. Now, grade 11s, I'm going to flip between this and are working, okay? Just to show you where I'm getting the derivatives from. If we look at example three, they've given us y is equal to 
tan squared x. Now, grade 11s, with this one, this one's a bit of a problem. Because if you look on your formula sheet here, we don't know anything about tan squared. Okay, yes, we've got tan x, and the derivative of tan x is sec squared x. Okay, so as it stands, I can't differentiate it like this. But I'm just going to rewrite it in a different way. And I'm not taking the derivative just yet. So y is equal to tan x squared. Okay, these two things are exactly the same. This just helps me see better how to differentiate this. So with this thing, again, we've got the chain rule. Okay, we've got our outside function, which is this squared bit. Then we've got the inside function, which is your tan x. Okay, so if we differentiate the outside function, we're going to get dy dx is equal to 2 tan x, decrease that power by 1, so we get 1. Now I'm ready to differentiate the inside. And you can see here that the derivative of tan x is sec squared x. So this is times by sec squared x. And that's your derivative, guys. You can't take it any further than that. Right, looking at example 4, we've got y is equal to sec cubed, the square root of x. So very similar to what I did with this one. You can see here we don't know what the derivative of sec cubed is. Okay, we've got sec, but not sec cubed. So I'm just going to re rewrite this in a different way. And again, I'm not taking the derivative, so I leave it as y. So we get here sec, and I'm going to change the third to be x to the half, and then that's all to the power of 3. Now, with this one, we've got a function within a function within a function. Okay, we've got our outside function, which is the cubed bit. We've got our inside function, which is the sec. Then we've got this other function, which is your x to the half. Okay, so let's differentiate the outside function first, working our way in. So dy dx is equal to, multiply that with the coefficient in the front, so we get 3 sec x to the half to the power of 2. We decrease that power by 1. Now I'm ready to take the derivative of the inside, which is the green one. So that's sec, and you can see the derivative of sec is sec x tan x. Okay, so we get sec x, but in this case our x is x to the half, times by tan. And again, x to the half. Okay, so that was the derivative of the orange. This was the derivative of the green. Now we must do the derivative of the x to the half. So we multiply it to the front and we get a half x, decrease that power by one and we get minus a half. Okay, so a little bit hectic, but not that bad. I just applied the chain rule three times, okay? Or twice rather, once, twice, and there we have it. Okay, so now we never write things with negative exponents. And I just wanna tidy this up a bit. So that, will be, that will go in the denominator, and we will get dy dx is equal to 3 over 2, the square root of x. Remember that wants to go to the bottom, and then the half becomes a third. And then we've got um, sec times sec is going to give us sec cubed, so times by sec cubed, square root of x. So we've got sec squared times sec gives us a sec cubed. And then we've just got the times by tan square root x. Okay, going on to example five. We've got y is equal to x squared times sine x. Here we're going to use the product rule. 
because we have a function times a function. Just remember, guys, you need to know your rules, okay? So there's one function times another function. And you can see the difference between chain and product, where chain is you have a function within a function. Here you have a function times a function. So we're going to, and guys, if you forget it in the exam, there's your chain, your product rule right there. Function times a function, and then you can differentiate it like that, okay? So, the product rule, we are going to differentiate the first one, which gives us 2x. You leave the second, plus, leave the first, differentiate the second. So, the derivative of sine, you can see sine is cos. And we get cos x. Okay, and that's pretty much it. We can't tidy it up any more than that. All right, going on to example six. We've got y is equal to cos x over x. Now, because we have a function over a function in terms of x, we're going to use the quotient rule. And it's over here on your formula sheet. And then that's how you find the derivative of it. So the quotient rule, we get dy dx is equal to, we differentiate the top, leave the bottom. So the derivative of cos, you can see here cos is minus sine x. So we get minus sine x. So that's the derivative of that one. We leave the bottom minus leave the top differentiate the bottom which is one okay all over the bottom squared okay and then i can just tidy this up a bit so that times that will give us minus x sine x minus cos x all over x squared. And there we have the derivative. Okay, going on to example 7. We've got y is equal to 4 tan 5x. Okay, now here we're going to use the chain rule because we have a function within a function. So my outside function is the tan x. And then the inside function is the 5x. Okay. dy dx is equal to... Now, the difference between this one and, say, this one here at grade 11s, why can't I say that this is the product rule? Okay. If you have a look at this example here, here we've got a function of x times a function of x and that is why it's the product rule okay if you have a look at this one we do not have a function of x times a function of x we've got a constant times a function of x so we're not going to use the product rule because that is not a function of x okay so we just leave the constant now the derivative of tan is 6 squared so times by 6 squared, 5x, because that's the angle. Now we need to differentiate the inside function. So the derivative of 5x is 5. Then I can simplify that. 4 times 5 is 20. 6 squared, 5x. Okay. Going on to question 8. We've got y is equal to a quarter cosec. 4x okay so again guys we do not use the product rule here because we don't have a function of x times a function of x it's just one function of x but what we will do is we will use the chain rule because we have an outside function which is cosec x then we have an inside function which is 4x okay so dy dx 
is equal to 1 over 4. The derivative of cosec, cosec is minus cosec x cot x. So we get minus cosec 4x. Sorry. 4x times by cot 4x. Multiplied by the derivative of the inside, which is 4. Okay. That 4 in the quarter will cancel, and we're just left with minus cosec 4x times cot 4x. Okay, yeah, going on to question 9. Okay, question 9 is asking y is equal to cos 1 minus x squared. So we're going to be using the chain rule. We have an outside function, which is cos x. And then we have an inside function, which is 1 minus x squared. All right. So dy dx is equal to... Now, the derivative of cos... Is minus sine x so we get minus sine 1 minus x squared now we need to differentiate the inside so that would give us minus 2x then I can just tidy this up a bit so the minus times the minus 2x will give us 2x sine 1 minus x squared Going on to question 10, we've got y is equal to sine x minus x cos x plus x squared plus 4x. Okay, here we've just got a normal function which we can differentiate. Here we're going to use a product rule because we have a function of x multiplied by a function of x and again grade 11s everything is on your formula sheet so there's the product rule right there and then you can just expand the, def the derivative using that there we just got a normal function and there we just have a normal function okay so dy dx is equal to the derivative of sine on your formula sheet sine is cos we get here cos x minus now grade 11s with this minus put the minus down but then open up a bracket because remember we have to differentiate this using the product rule and it gets expanded with the plus in between so that negative there will change signs around okay so the first thing we're going to do is differentiate the first thing which is one leave the second cos x plus leave the first differentiate the second so the derivative of cos is minus sine x all right then the derivative of x squared is plus 2x and then the derivative of 4x is plus 4. okay let's tidy things up a bit here we get cos x that will just give us cos x minus cos x Then that will give us, that's minus x sine x. So the minus and the minus will give us plus x sine x plus 2x plus 4. Okay, cos x minus cos x, they cancel. And we are left with x sine x plus 2x plus 4. Okay, yeah, going on to question 11. I think I might need some more space for this, guys. So I'm just going to go to a new page. Question 11. Y is equal to sine cubed 2x minus 3. Okay. Again, this is very similar to a previous example that we've done. I cannot take the derivative of sine cubed. Okay, we only know the derivative of sine. So I'm going to rewrite that in a different way. 
and we get y is equal to sine 2x minus 3 all cubed. Okay, we have an outside function, which we will differentiate. We have an inside function, which is your sine x. And then we have another inside function, which is the 2x minus 3. Let's differentiate the outside one first. So dy dx is equal to 3 sine 2x minus 3 squared. So that's the derivative of that one. Now I must differentiate the inside one. So the derivative of sine is cos, and we get cos 2x minus 3. Now I must differentiate the inside one, which is the green one, and we get 2. Okay, let's tidy things up a bit. So we get here uh, the 2 times 3, which is 6. And we get sine squared, 2x minus 3, cos. 2x minus 3. Okay, and then we can just leave it just like that, guys. Then question 12. Y is equal to a half 10x times sine 2x. Okay, here we're going to use the product rule. We have a function times another function of x, but the second function is the chain rule, because we have an inside function there. Okay, dy dx is equal to a half. Now I'm just going to take out the half and then differentiate these things. So the product rule says differentiate the first, leave the second. So the derivative of tan is sec squared and we get sec squared x times sine 2x plus we leave the first one which is tan x differentiate the second so that would be sine is cos and we get cos 2x but now we need to differentiate the inside function which is 2. Then I can just tidy things up a bit here. So that will just give us a half sec squared x times sine 2x. Then that 2 will come here. 2 times a half is just 1, so we get plus 10x cos 2x. Now, just to so you guys are aware of this, we can simplify this further but we need to do double angles first okay and I'm just going to highlight that because we can come back to this example later with these double angles we can expand it and then simplify things even further okay so just keep that in mind all right so grade 12 uh, grade 11s so I'm going to leave it there what you guys can do for me is you guys can do ex this exercise over here and that's on page 110 Thanks, guys.